Hello, I'm Simon Whistler. You're watching the Today I Found Our YouTube channel, and in the video today, we're looking at the rather disappointing truth about velociraptors. Let's get started. The truth about velociraptors. If everything you know about velociraptors comes from Hollywood's depictions, you're in for a bit of a surprise. For instance, in Jurassic Park, velociraptors are depicted as slightly bigger than a human, reptilian-looking pack hunters found in what is now the United States and ridiculously intelligent. Well, literally none of that is true. In reality, velociraptors were only a bit bigger than a domesticated turkey, being only about three feet tall and six feet long, with most of the length coming from the tail, and weighed in at only around 20 to 30 pounds, full grown. More than that, they also looked somewhat like a turkey, feathers and all. As Mark Norrell, curator of fossil reptiles, amphibians, and birds at the American Museum of Natural History stated, The more we learn about these animals, the more we find that there is basically no difference between birds and their closely related dinosaur ancestors like the Velociraptor. Both have wishbones, brooded their nests, possess hollow bones, and were covered in feathers. If animals like Velociraptor were alive today, our first impression would be that they were just very unusual-looking birds. More than that, there has never been one bit of evidence that suggested Velociraptors hunted in packs. In fact, every fossil found of Velociraptors has seemed to indicate that they were solitary creatures. There was even one fossil where the Velociraptor was in the act of trying to kill a Protoceratops, which was a pig-sized dinosaur, when a sandstorm came up and buried both of them while they were still fighting one another. If they hunted in packs, there should have been more Velociraptors at that find, particularly given the size of the Protoceratops relative to the Velociraptor. Next up, the Velociraptors were not found in the United States, as Jurassic Park suggests, where the paleontologists in the film dug up the Velociraptor skeleton in Montana. In fact, they have only been found in Central Asia, around Mongolia. Were they intelligent? Well, for a dinosaur, it is thought they were somewhat intelligent due to their brain size relative to their body size, but it turns out that's basically just saying they were more intelligent than a board with a nail in it. For reference, the dinosaur that is thought to have been the smartest of all dinosaurs was the Trudon. It is thought to have been around as intelligent as a primitive possum. So there goes the whole Velociraptor thing out of the window. The deepest thoughts a Velociraptor ever thought were probably on the level of the seagulls in Finding Nemo. Hardly the smarter than dolphins, whales, and some primates that Dr. Alan Grant in Jurassic Park 3 suggests. Actually, if you've ever raised domestic turkeys, the just slightly more intelligent than a board with a nail on it is about the domestic turkey's level of intelligence too. So what were they thinking in Jurassic Park? Well, basically, they modeled what they called the Velociraptor in the movie around the Dionychus. The Dionychus were also raptors, but were significantly bigger than the Velociraptors, coming in at about 12 feet long, about 6 feet tall, and weighing about 150 pounds full grown. Pretty much picture the Velociraptor in Jurassic Park, and you get a pretty good idea of what the Deinonychus were thought to have looked like, although there is still some debate over whether they too had feathers, with many researchers leaning that way. So really, picture the Velociraptor in Jurassic Park and add feathers, and you probably get the look of the Deinonychus. The Deinonychus also were thought to have occasionally hunted in packs to bring down larger prey, and were thought to have been very fast. Their habitat was in the forests of North America. Now on the intelligence bit. They, too, weren't really thought to have been very intelligent, although clearly they were at least smart enough to work together to bring down larger prey when the need arose. Bonus facts The name Velociraptor comes from the Latin velox, meaning swift, and raptor, meaning robber or plunderer. The name was chosen by paleontologist Henry F. Osborne in 1924 after he discovered the fossil in Mongolia that same year. Bonus fact 2 it has been suspected that Velociraptors had feathers, but the evidence proving this has only come very recently. That evidence came from a discovery in September 2007 of a four-limb fossil of a Velociraptor that had quill knobs, similar to those found on birds. So I really hope you liked that video, and if you did like it, click like below and leave us a comment to let us know what you think. And also check out a couple of our other videos, which are linked to on the screen now, and don't forget to subscribe for brand new videos every day. Thanks for watching.